Well now, um, in this video, we obviously discuss some of Newton's laws. Um, available question 3 November 2016, Physical Sciences Paper 1. In the description box of this video, we will have links for other questions and what pen to lead. So, lagu question 3, um, Newton's laws. But a hovering rescue helicopter has a container of supplies with a weight of um, 1,960 newtons, so the container in a weight of 1,960, and it's hanging from a cable. So now a container here, this is the container hanging from this cable. The tension in the cable is what? Um, the tension in this cable is 2,100 newtons. 3.1 state newton's first law of motion in words uh 3.1 is something on my toilet and i would textbook here actually um, a body will remain in a state of rest or motion at constant or, or or motion at constant or uniform velocity unless a non zero resultant or net force acts on it right uh, so this is the First law of motion in words. Uh, 3.2 Draw a label force diagram of all forces acting on the container. So be careful. Uh, there's a difference between um there's a difference between Ilogange e what's this? A force diagram and a free body diagram and a free body diagram so the, the, there's a difference between the two so we first diagram instead is a box and then we free body diagram is a dot to represent our our weight so those are the two differences between the two so Lana Batisi draw a force diagram of all forces acting on the container. So the container, instead of using a dot, your seven sir, instead of using a dot, your seven sir, a box, right? So that's the difference between the two. So I think erase la. Yes, yes, yes. So now three point two is funok ogno guys, funok draw a free body diagram. Now, free body diagram is the same thing. The thing is the container, yami, the box. And then the first, for how many marks? Three marks. So the first force given by tension acting up what? It's acting upward because of the helicopter is moving what? Is it obvious. This is a puzzle. Langa we carry the load. This is a puzzle. So because of the helicopter is pulling the, the container up, and then the container is also pulling the helicopter down according to that law, um, according to Newton's that law, right? But um, in this video, this is obviously, okay, Lana see draw just a, a free body diagram. Uh, okay, enough more Newton's that law, but anyway. Um, and then the second one, Zobayini, Zobay weight. And then it's three marks. There's another force, la weight one mark tension another mark and then there's a third force there must be a third force la, right the third force is a controversial one i once discussed this question with one of my students and then actually the third force we use over a thrust the force is to act downward why ah yeah, yeah. why the, the, the thrust of kulumanga act downward it's it's actually the force applied by my blades, right? I saw no way born a helicopter. A helicopter, right? Um, um, is all if ever a helicopter is lazy pants, ne? My lazy pants or a helicopter, yako once in Logans, it turn it turn on my engines is where I will be so yeah, pezul. So, ye pe force ends a with the helicopter, yeah, pezul. It's because of lama blades, lao lama blades, naga talok ten. I apply a downward force to thrust the helicopter upward. So that's why I need to F thrust is acting downwards. It's the force applied by a ini by a map blades. Still, my mind is skeptical. But anyway, 
um, there's an F thrust, um, a force acting downwards applied by my blades on the container. So there's three forces are acting on this container. One, two, three, tension, F thrust, as well as any weight or F blades or F thrust or F A, whatever. 3.3. Why does the container remain stationary despite the tension being greater than the weight? Um, well, the explanation comes from the thrust. It's because of there's an extra force acting downward. Tension is greater than weight, yes, but because of the extra thrust force, um, the container remains constant. So this plus this is equal to that. That's why a container it is equal to a stationary. So the reason is that this is because of the downward force exerted by the blades or the thrust the thrust force in Kulumangai. but Now the winch inside the helicopter. There's a there's something called the winch. A winch is something a sort of like a drag a, 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 a roller the, the the cable so that the container is lifted upward so now the winch inside the helicopter starts to pull the container upwards with an acceleration of 0 0.13 meter per q wait wait waiting teen man um the container <laughs> Um, okay, I think now the winch inside the helicopter starts to pull the container upwards with an acceleration of 0 0.13 meter per second per second or meter per second squared. This is the meter per second cube. Okay, but in Shashengaz Kuza Masinyana. Now, why, while the, com the, the helicopter remains in its position, so with 0 0.1, but to calculate the mass of the container. 3.4 the mass of the container so a calculator using its own weight so so same inside the weight formula this is all much what's the weight of the container it's 1960 equal to what is the mass is for no calculator on gravitational acceleration is 9.8 the mass is equal to divide up both sides more 1960 divided by you divide the lower nine six zero. You divide nine point eight. Divide the both sides by the nine point eight, so that in sale no m as the subject of the formula. So my answer is over equal to let us see ninety sixty divided by nine comma eight equal to two hundred. So our answer lies two hundred kilograms. Always your mass is measured in kilograms of physics whenever whatever calculation we answer you make sure your mass is expressed as a mass kilograms now 3.5 calculate the magnitude of the tension in the cable while the container is being pulled upwards last of are on newton's second law since we have e acceleration where since we're going to acceleration light like, means we apply ulogans u newton's second law so to calculate the tension in the cable by the way by the way by the way by the way bag once the container starts accelerating it means the tension in the cable must increase right i said talent base stationary right base stationary so the tension must be bigger than 2100 in order for the container to go up so now to calculate the tension, we be confused with oh, must pass pili tension la two thousand one hundred. What's the point? Could you calculate a tension again? You have to calculate tension again because now there's an acceleration, meaning the net force now is pointing up. We get much right. So much in this way, and also calculate the tension um, in the cable, right? The tension in the cable. Uh, so I think erase Elana so that we can answer with 3.5. Alright, 3.5. Um for now the tension and the cable. Let me bring back Iloganji to our free body diagram. Not free body diagram, but but in force diagram. Uh, weight and the thrust. 
right and the thrust and the thrust okay now lana so seven sa unitron second law si zotige let's see okay now uh, it's f net equal to m a there's acceleration so this is newton second law now f net is going to be tension let's choose up the upward direction as positive so it's tension positive and then ef um, let's just call this f um, thrust let's say this is ft ft this is f t the t stands for thrust and then minus any weight why is it negative is it minus weight because of up is positive and down is negative negative equal to m mass of the container is 200 the acceleration is what the acceleration is 0 0.13 it's it's positive 0 0.13 because of container and the, the upward direction is taken as positive so acceleration vector <clears throat> so i need to specify direction but there's no need since it's a positive value now now <clears throat> let's go back <clears throat> so calculator any tension minus uh, we have the f thrusting the value for ft i need the, the value for ft but minus what is the weight the weight remains constant one one nine six zero equal to 200 times the 0 0.13 what is the f what is the value for ft let's go back to the the time when a container here to a station r we know that um ft uh, okay taking up is positive again so give about tension minus weight minus f minus ft which is the thrust equal to zero if it's a state if a container it is stationary there's no f net or f net is equal to bunny zero f net is equal to zero so this is f net equal to bunny zero when it was stationary the tension was what was 2100 minus the weight was 1960 minus ft force of thrust equal to zero therefore since what is 2100 minus 1960 this is equal to 140 so therefore our ft then it transpose uh, your figure uh, positive ft so therefore ft is equal to 140 newtons then see how we are see plugger in gala right see plugger in la so f thrust now remain a constant right the only thing is you change it's the tension helicopter remain a constant so you apply uh, the same amount of the f thrust as when it was that the container was stationary so now the winch inside the helicopter starts to pull the container upwards while the helicopter remain in its position so the the force in the blades or applied by my blades is over constant now as when the container was stationary so 140 when the container was stationary is over the same as um 140 as when the container is being lifted up now we can calculate the tension again much so since 140 nano 1960 i'm a comma i'm a like terms so minus 140 minus 1960 this gives us so minus uh, tension it's minus 2100 minus 2100 this is equal to 200 times 0 0.13 0 0.13 this is equal to 26 
26 and then tension is equal to 26 plus 2100 is equal to 2126 2126 newtons up upward it's a positive value the tension is pointing up now 3.6 the last question uh, 3.6 after an acceleration of a few meters the statement let's see after an acceleration of a few meters the container is pulled up at a constant velocity so now i saw accelerating winch here too now it starts pulling the container at a constant velocity much what will the magnitude of the tension in the cable in the cable um, what will be what will be the magnitude of the tension in the cable while the container moves upwards at a constant velocity the tension as you calculated in the previous question is the tension in the container or it's the tension in the cable while we have acceleration while there's no acceleration now we have a constant what velocity when there's a constant velocity the tension is the same as when the, con the, the container was stationary. So we have about 2100. According to first law, a body will remain constant or will remain, will remain in a state of rest or motion unless an external force or an non-zero force acts on your object layer so therefore if ever i move at a constant velocity it means that um the tensional force i need to change is will change only if there's an acceleration so constant velocity um the forces are not affected in a in our system so like 3.6 is ote Tension here is still excess of 2100 newtons, still acting upward. So, question three is Rempalana, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Now, we enjoy this video. Leave a like, share, and subscribe. Um, now, if there's anything I understand, or feel like you can put up an argument um, on some of the questions la. feel free to comment in the in the comment section of this video and let us talk so question three thanks for watching and let us meet on the next one bye bye